Hello everybody, it's time for another Tales from the Village Green again. This time we're in the East Riding and we're in the village of Swanland, a few miles west of Hull. It's a pretty place and generally residential, although there are a few landmarks which stick out. One landmark I'd like to highlight for you now is Swanland Water Tower. It's not the largest water tower we've ever seen, but it is one of the easiest to get a good look at. That's because it sits literally yards from the road. It's so close you can even read when it was built, 1931. This one's pretty low to the ground too, which is unusual because they work via gravity. They rely on hydrostatic pressure produced by the elevation of the water in their tanks, which pushes water into the local system when it's required. The taller they are, the better that works. They're not always needed, but if you live in an area which has one, you do get some benefits. A water tower can supply water during outages. Think of them as like an emergency storage reservoir. They also help with times of peak demand, which is usually daytime hours. At night, when demand is low, the towers are refilled via a pump. They vary in shape and size too. Here's another one I saw recently in Rickall between Selby and York, wildly different to the one in Swanland. Mind you, they all serve the same purpose, no matter how they look. The very fact that they're tall structures means they can be used in other ways. Telecommunications companies, for example, often use them. They're a great place to put a few aerials, after all. This one in Swanland is no stranger to being used for other things. During World War II, its wedding cake-like shape and flat top was perfect for use as a signalling platform by the Home Guard. Although large, water towers quietly go about their job. Not everywhere has one, but if there's one in your area, you'd be surprised how much you've relied on it in the past without even realising it. So next time you turn your tap on in your kitchen or in your bathroom, there's a good chance the water that's coming out of it originated in one of those. Ba -ba -da, ba -ba -da.